Hey guys, today me and Tammy are gonna be trying out this new Taco Bell. This is the Cheesy Double Decker uh, Taco Dinner Kit, and it comes with six soft top tortillas, a Velveeta cheese sauce, six crunchy taco shells, and a taco seasoning. All you have to do is add your ground beef, which is one pound of ground beef, and whatever toppings you want. And it kind of shows you a picture of what's included. I think that's pretty cool. So, um, calorie wise, it's, uh, there are six servings in here, you know, six uh, shells basically. So, um, with the hamburger and everything, if you use a 90% a lean ground beef, it's 340 calories per taco, basically. Um, so what, I'm gonna just open it up and we'll see what's inside here. I do have my oven on um, on heating up to 300 degrees, just to let you know, so you'll hear it beep in just one second. Um, these were $1.59 at Meyer, which um, I don't think that's too bad for a taco kit. So I'm just gonna dump everything out here on the counter, keep my directions around. So you've got your six shells, which we're gonna put in the oven in a minute. You got your six soft shells, which we'll take out of the package of microwave again, and we'll do that in a minute. You got your taco seasoning from Taco Bell. It's actually Taco Bell taco seasoning. And you have your Velveeta cheese sauce, which I have a bowl and a spoon here, uh, which I'll, I'll do the Velveeta in the bowl and just have the spoon just to stir it up with um, here in just a minute. So first thing you wanna do is, again, preheat your oven to 350 or 300 degrees. Get your package of ground beef and start uh, browning it in a pan. Once it's browned, drain the grease off and then put it back in the pan. And then I'll, I'll be back once we get to that point and show you what you do next. All right, so it's drained and you can hear it sizzling. It's just because it's still hot. But I'm gonna put my three fourths cup of water in there. Pretty quickly stops. <laughs> the pan was still hot though. And um, my Taco Bell season, taco seasoning mix and put that in there. I just go ahead and dump it all in there. It's not too clumpy anyway, so it, it's fine. And just stir it up really good. And I'm gonna turn my heat back on to medium, high, medium low, because you don't want it to be on super high. And this is gonna simmer for about 10 minutes. So, um, once it starts kind of bubbling, it'll, it'll start, uh, I'll set a timer for 10 minutes. So, um, get it really good and stirred up. Okay, so um, next thing you want is get you a baking sheet and um, put a piece of aluminum foil on it just so you don't have to clean it. You don't have to put aluminum foil on it. it just keeps you from having to wash it, basically. And I'm gonna take my tortilla shells and don't leave the cardboard in there. At least I never leave the cardboard in there. But if you put these on here, just separate them a little bit. Don't, um, don't take them completely apart. This is how I was always told to do it, or how I was taught to do them. Leave them like this, that way they won't completely collapse. Uh, don't put these in the toaster oven. It actually says that it, it's a fire risk if you put these in the toaster oven, so don't toast them. So I'm gonna wait till the, um, the taco seasoning has about five minutes before I uh, put those in, because you have to be leaving there from three to five minutes. And I'm just gonna show you what all the rest of the stuff looks like. So here's the Velveeta, and I'm gonna put it in this bowl. And I got a nice white bowl so you can see what the nice orange Velveeta looks like. And you will want to heat the Velveeta sauce up. It only takes a minute total. Um, you're supposed to put it in there, in there for 30 seconds and then um, stir it and then go another 30 seconds and uh, that'll be good and heat it up. That's what the spoon's for, just to stir it up. And then the flour tortillas take 30 seconds. You don't have to do anything fancy with these. You literally just take them out of the package, put them on this plate, and put a paper towel on top of them and microwave them for 30 seconds. So that'll be like literally right before they're ready to eat. So um, again, three to five minutes on the tortilla shells, 30 seconds stir, 30 seconds for a Vita, and 30 seconds for the tortilla shells um, in the microwave. Okay, everything's out of the microwaves, oven, whatever it is. So you just want, um, you, I'm just gonna get two of my shells and you're supposed to put like four teaspoons of Velveeta. Well, I don't, I'm not gonna measure it. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna wing it. I think it's just enough to really just kind of coat it a little bit. That looks like about enough. And you want it to spread, you want it to, 
I want it to last for six. So I would probably go ahead and just, I'm not going to do all six now, but uh, if I were you and you're making these, I would go ahead and do all six of them at one time. That way you know exactly how much cheese you're, you need to use. So that way if you run low, you can scoop some off of another one, right? And then take your tortilla and basically just um, lay it on top and fold it over. Just like that. Yep. It holds it up. It holds it together, so it's okay. Just don't squeeze like I did. Yeah. And then you want to get your hamburger. And put it in your shell. And you can add, you can top with other anything you want. You know, you can add, um, you know, lettuce, tomato, cheese, sour cream, whatever you want to to that. That's how I'm going to make it. Uh, we're just doing it straight out of the box. So uh, I'm going to make this other one, and then I'll be back to try it out. Now, is this a cheesy gordita crunch? No. There, What's that's the difference? Different. It has a sauce. The cheesy gordita is basically the same, but it has like a different sauce on top of it, like a white. So if you went to Taco Bell, this is just a cheesy double, it's the same thing. It's cheesy a double, double decker. decker taco. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, I've never had With anything. With less of tomato. Okay, yeah. I've never had anything like this. I've never had a soft shell covering <laughs> a, a hard shell. And it worked out pretty good. I mean, once that Velveeta cooled off a little bit, you can see it literally glues it together. I mean, it's glued, <laughs> literally glued together. Um, now you can top these with anything. They have, um, you look at the back, it has a picture of their different sauces. They have hot sauces, they have a green sauce, they have a- uh, um, The queso. They have queso, They um, you might want to add less tomato and sour cream to this, you add whatever you want to. Um, if it was me and I was making these at home and I wasn't in a review, I would add less tomato to these. So that's just me. No. Mm. I like that. I like that too. I like that much better. Um, we reviewed another one of these kits and it was good. The flavor was good. It was the Taco Bell. It was like Bell. a nacho. Right. Nacho cheese it was cheesy like nacho. Yeah. But it didn't have the hard shell, which I'm a huge fan of the hard shell. No matter where I go, like Chipotle, wherever, Taco Bell, I always get a hard shell. If we're making them at home, I use the hard shell. And you dislike the soft shells. I dislike the hard shells very, uh, the soft shells very, very much. So the previous meal just had the soft shell and it was a good flavored meal. However, I still, the, the soft shells are not my favorite. This I can eat because it does have that hard shell and I, the, I really like that flavor. It adds the, the tortilla. It adds a crunch. Crunch and the flavor. And the, yeah, the flavor. So you like this better than just the other one? Yes, very much. But I like this you would this a still lot prefer better. just the crunchy. I would over. still eat just crunchy. That's yeah. just me. Normally, when we're doing tacos ourselves, when we're buying all the components of it, um, I buy a. A set of hard shells for me and a set of soft shells for him. I prefer the soft That's just the way we do it. And yeah. I'll eat the hard shells and he'll eat the soft shells. Well, I think this is really good. I think the I like taco it. meat, the seasoning for the tacos, tastes like Taco Bell taco meat. Mm -hmm. um, it's very, very good. And like I said, top it with whatever you want. I think it's excellent. I think this is really good. I really like this. It is, and it's cheap. So, you know, it's just a matter of buying this and however much you want to spend on your hamburger. Yeah, and I think it was $3.50 or yeah, 3 something. Yeah, you don't have to buy top of the line hamburger either. Yeah. So, it's a pretty cheap meal. Yeah, so, I think these are excellent. You should try them out yeah, and get them in your area. Very, very good. So, I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.